Hey, Dave here again with Soul Home. A uh, common question we get asked is, hey, I have an existing system that's under net metering 1.0 or net metering 2.0. Can I add more solar to that? You know, I, I had this system installed however many years ago and, you know, we find we're using a lot more energy than we were when we first had it installed. Maybe, you know, they got an electric car, uh, got air conditioning, something like that. And the, the quick answer is you, you can, um, if you want to expand that system, you can add up to one kilowatt worth of CEC AC power, which ends up being about three panels you can do with a net on top of your existing net metering agreement without losing your grandfathered status because people don't want to lose those those good terms right there they're they're getting paid retail rates still you know for for their solar during the day uh, where the new net metering 3.0 you're not you have to get a battery sell it at night all that stuff right so they don't want to lose that on their existing system there's a lot of value left there for the rest of that 20 year net metering term so but they want to add more power they want more solar um, they want to be more self-sufficient and the the way that we are solving that problem for them is we are installing a new parallel system we're adding solarks we're adding solarks with uh, batteries and then the solar and the way we're able to do that we are installing that as a full separate system that we are not interconnecting with the existing solar so therefore we are not going to do anything with our net metering agreement or with the customer's net metering agreement so the scg &E doesn't even need to know about it as far as we're concerned this is just an appliance that works on behind the grid just like any other appliance it will only draw from the grid we have it set so it only draws it will not back feed the grid and so we don't need the back feed the grid if you pair it with a battery right so everything works behind the meter so you you are allowed you know it's your house it's your roof you can put panels up and on there you're just not allowed to back feed the grid without permission from scg &E. so we can do as big a system really as, as we as we can fit on the bus bars um, with those there are electrical calculations with how big of a system we can back feed those bus bars into the rest of the house um, without having it pumped back into the grid um, so it's been very effective uh, for for those customers that needed that extra power no it will not be as cheap as just throwing more panels on the roof and back feeding that 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 meter we're, we're not doing that um, but you know you get a lot of extra benefits with adding that separate system with that battery you know, you can power your house from four to nine every night. You're no longer subject to the time of use rates. Um, and the customer is getting a whole lot of benefit from adding this separate parallel system that is, is working independent of the grid behind the meter, so to speak. So if you find yourself in that position where I need more power, I'm grandfathered on net metering 1.0 or 2.0, I don't want to lose my status for that system because there is still a lot of value there. Uh, we can install a full separate system. There's a certain way we hook it up with the panel. So it all meets code. Uh, we don't even, you don't even need to tell us cg &E. It's not going back into their grid and it's gonna power your house. Uh, it's really cool. So uh, give us a call or go to our website if you'd like to hear about how we can help you with that.